Hello, Dr. Evangelos Milonas here at Kinetic Health. Today we'll be talking about the spinal accessory nerve, also known as cranial nerve 11. The spinal accessory nerve exits at the base of the skull and it travels down the, the back and, and side portion of the neck here and it innervates two muscles, specifically the SCM, the sternocleidomastoid, and the trapezius. If I get Emmy to turn her head to the right, you can see the SCM muscle. It's right here. It attaches down at the, the front part here of the, the collarbone and at the back of the skull behind the ear. The trapezius is quite a large muscle. It starts at the middle of the back, it fans upwards, it goes laterally to the side of the shoulder and then comes up. It almost looks like uh, a triangle of sorts. So the clinical significance of the spinal accessory nerve is that it gives motor function to these two muscles. So if someone comes in and they're complaining of pain in the neck, the side of the neck, pain with rotating the head or bringing the chin down or back, it's one of the areas that you definitely want to take a look at. Uh, the SCM brings the head to the side, to the opposite shoulder, but it also brings the head to the same side shoulder, laterally flexing it. The trapezius helps you to shrug your shoulders up. It stabilizes the scapula, which also affects the, the glenohumeral joint, which is the shoulder. So the trapezius can manifest in a number of different ways. People with neck pain, headaches, shoulder difficulty, rotator cuff problems. So you definitely want to assess the strength of these muscles. You want to visually inspect, making sure the muscles haven't decreased in size or that there's no atrophy. Um, those are all indications that the nerve may be trapped or compressed at some point. Um, at times you'll also get maybe a tingling or numb sensation along the shoulder, front of the neck. So, definitely an important nerve to examine. Um, you want to tie it in with some good muscle testing, range of motion, and, and assess the whole area. Now we're going to get into some exercises specific to this nerve, nerve gliding exercises that you can do at home uh, to release the nerve, to help it move in a direction. Uh, it could possibly be entrapped at the trapezius or at the SCM or anywhere in between. So we'll be looking at those next. Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Abelson from Kinetic Health. I'm just going to go over a nerve gliding or flossing exercise for the spinal accessory nerve. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide this up into two portions. This is called protraction of the shoulder. This is called retraction where we bring it back. We're going to start in a neutral position and we're just kind of going to get used to bringing the shoulder back. So just take that back, Emmy, and forward. Good. Back. Really simple. Okay. So once you get used to this motion, we're going to bring in the second portion, which is where we're going to take the head and basically this is retraction as the chin goes back and protraction comes forward. This is lateral flexion. So what we want to do is we want to get the head moving forward and lateral flexion down a little bit. Okay? So just get used to this action, taking it forward and down. Once we've got that together, we're going to combine the two motions. So we're going to retract the shoulder, bring the head forward and down. So it's just nice and smooth like this, taking it forward into these positions. Really quite simple. But we want to feel the area that we're stretching, which is in this area right along here where the spinal accessory nerve basically binds up or coils as it retracts and then it elongates there. So take it back and forward. This is a really nice way of freeing up those restrictions. And this may seem, you know, we're not really pushing it too far, but we're going to feel a little bit of tension in this area. But we're taking that nerve and we're stretching it right out and we're getting some good motion there. So we probably do this maybe five or ten times. Keep going there, Amy. Good. And we may do this maybe three, four times a day. Just a real nice, gentle way of mobilizing or gliding the nerve. 